Uh, so tell us a little bit about, about Alice, because I mean, the Mad Hatter is mm. back, but in a, in a slightly different guise. He's, mm. he's in a different mood. Indeed, yeah. yeah. When we find the Hatter in the film, he's um, he's, uh, he's he's somewhat gone. You know, there you see s snippets of him. It's almost a, a Hatter that's broken really you know what I mean like normal, we asked ourselves but, but normal because that, you know. we asked ourselves the question what is madness to a mad person mm. and it could well be the idea of sanity maybe and so when we meet the Hatter he is in a smart suit with hair done very neatly and it's that strange thing where he's got an element of melancholy because he's found something out about his past which he thought was true yeah. may not be true mm. so that's a big dilemma for him yes and so playing a melancholy mad character mm. is I guess a little challenging no, I do it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Have we met? Yes. Well, no, I mean, not yet. It's funny, I feel I shouldn't know you. Well, we have met once, when I was younger. Oh, well, I'm afraid I don't recall. That's because it hasn't happened yet. Oh, when will it happen? Years from now, when you're older. I'll meet you when you're younger and I'm older. I realise it doesn't make much sense. Makes perfect sense to me. And James, uh, people may not know, but you, your background mm. initially was to do with comedy, wasn't it? Yes. Allergy yes. and things like that. As yeah, a director. yeah, no, no, no. So how does that translate into a, you know, a magical story like Alice? Well, when I read Lewis Carroll as a kid, he made me laugh. Like, he is an absurd surrealist, and that branch of humour stretches right down to things like Monty Python, which for me is a huge part of my childhood growing up. It kind of forms your comedy sensibility. And so for me, that I was keen to bring the edge back to this world, because obviously Johnny plays the character so beautifully in that nice, vulnerable way. But I also wanted to bring my friend Sasha Baron Cohen back, because you kind of get the idea that he's playing this character called Time. And in Underland, time is a person, not just an idea. And in fact, that was Lewis Carroll's idea. Lewis Carroll in the book, Alice in Wonderland, when Hatter first meets Alice, um, Hatter says to Alice, um, I've been stuck here since last March when time and I quarreled. That's right. So the idea that time is a person is Lewis Carroll's idea, but I thought it would make a very interesting villain for the movie. I always think, Johnny, that you almost should have been British. Because you, you have, you have such been, British... Yeah. You were talking about sort of comedy sensibilities and stuff. That's very much you, isn't it? I, I, I don't know what it is, you know, I, I mean, I did watch a, a lot of Monty Python as a kid and stuff, but I mean, I, I, yeah, I, 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 my, my humor is totally British, it's totally, it's completely dry, absurd, um, uh, sophomoric at times, um, vigilante at times, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, I have an evil humor. This cannot be good. I sense that there's something about the Mad Hatter that really does kind of click in. Of, well, no, it's no. of having <laughs> yeah. your own way of going about things, life in general. Does that kind of chime with what you're really like? It's a weird thing, We're playing a character again, when you know the guy, when you super know the guy, you really know him well and you're standing on a very strong foundation. Like, like in character I can do virtually anything and not care about looking like a complete ass. <laughs> not that I care much about looking like a complete ass in life. <laughs> that I get paid for. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But in life I couldn't, if I had to go up and say, you know, you know, three lines to 25 people, I'd probably pass out. Uh, can I just ask you, James, it's funny, I've met Johnny once before, right. and I find him quite hard to read in a funny <laughs> kind of way, because he, when you ask him a question, he gets, he gets very serious and he gets very, and I don't think, I don't think that's what you're like most of the time. But I'd be right. Yeah. Any kind of situation like this where you're not exposed, but exposed on some level, I mean, where you're, um, you know, it's always going to be foreign, man. And, it, you know, I've been doing this, I've been doing this record <laughs> for like 30 years. It's still foreign. And if, and if I didn't think of it as foreign, I think people wouldn't like me. <laughs> 